Hey guys, welcome to Victory at Sea Atlantic. I'm going to be key provided with the devs that actually came out Friday. And I was interested in looking at this one. Real time uh, strategy game with tactical battles and an overland map and all that kind of stuff. There are a bunch of videos. This is the start combat screen. Here you can select ships and fleets and move them around in the deployment zone. And it kind of goes over a bunch of stuff. Ships in a squadron. You can so move around the Atlantic map. campaign map. As well as zoom in and out. It goes over all the basics, which is grand. All the fleet. Yeah, I've looked over one or two of them, but we are going to go in kind of blind. We're going to do a custom battle. We can see all of the um, different ship classes here. There are submarines, landing craft, there's aircraft. Um, I did one random battle. It was cool. There's the aircraft carriers, all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's interesting. We got the Brits. We got the Americans. We got the pre-French. Uh, the free French and the actual French, then um, basically the same ships, just less on this side. And then, of course, the Germans. The moment there's the Allied campaign, I'm going to leave it on medium because we're just checking it out. I'll jump in. Objective tutorial, basic combat controls, part one. Sure, we'll do that. No problem. I was kind of hoping there was going to be a tutorial. That looks like build slots in each of the ports and so on. And then obviously they have a ton of stuff. But Denmark is a port up there. And then uh, you have all of the Canadian ports and the American ports over there. Uh, right, all the convoys, cool. Is it the same video? Look around. Oh. Zoom in and out. Move the camera. Speed up the camera's movement. Refocus on the selected ship. Okay. Open the command wheel. Okay. Give the ship a move order. It will move to the targeted point in the sea. Give the ship a turn command. It will keep going in the order direction until otherwise commanded. While the ship is moving, you can also steer it. That's right, we have uh, direct control as well. To adjust the ship's speed, use the throttle. The OT. Change speed, yeah, no problem. You have completed basic maneuver training. Click continue when you are ready. Okay, part two. We'll run through these. Zoom in on the mini map. You may give orders to ships on the mini map by using the command wheel. Order your ship to move to the highlighted point. Hmm, in that case, maybe the edge of the mini map could have a bit more of a um, order. You so can you also tell. speed up time. Let the ship move to the highlighted point. Loki, right there. Interesting that they've gone for the old timey camera effect. Can I change that? Oh. 
Select a gun. The mini-map shows the gun's firing arc. Oh, cool. There is a hostile ship nearby. Move the camera close to it. Okay. With a gun selected, fire on the hostile ship. Wait on us. Direct hit. Open the command wheel to select all gun turrets. All guns that can fire at the target point will fire. Select the torpedoes. Change the torpedo spread. This can narrow and widen the firing arc. Launch torpedoes at the hostile ship. Sink the hostile ship. Hey, Gary. More naval stuff? Yeah. You have sunk the target. You sound surprised. The tutorials include a full list of videos, covering topics such as different weapon and ammunition types, launching planes, and special orders. You have completed basic combat training. Click continue when you are ready. Okay. Is this time sensible, hopefully? How do you mean? <laughs> um, familiar says, what's up with campaign controls? Sure, we'll do that. Move around the Atlantic campaign map. Zoom in and out. Select ASW Patrol 2. Their fleet list, okay. Open the command wheel and start a patrol. To add an extra point to the patrol route, open the command wheel at another point in the ocean and hold the Q orders key. Enemy fleet spotted. Attack the enemy submersible. Okay. If your target is the last known position of an enemy fleet, your fleet will head towards the last known position. Oh, sorry, you were talking about that, okay. Um, do, 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 engage an enemy submersible. Yes, actually, I want to see how to fight a sub. You can speed up time as the fleet closes the distance. I just read more, more naval stuff and then this time, just this time sensible. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, right. Close on the target. I guess that's what we're doing. We're still in the... Oh yeah, we're still in the campaign map. Yeah, okay. But the campaign we is have encountered uh, the enemy. real time as well. Oh, this game is sensible. So, um, let's see. Close on the target. Uh, enter combat, I presume. Wait till you see what I'm thinking of doing next. <laughs> this is the start combat screen. Yes, it is. Okay. You currently have two squadrons. Click and drag one ship out of the squadron list. Drag the ship onto the other squadron. This will combine them into a... This squadron is in a column formation, meaning they will move in single file. All right. Change the formation to a line formation. The fleet will then move into the new formation. Hold the rotate button to change the facing of the squadron. The last known position of the enemy is shown here. Okie dokie. When you are ready, you can click here to start the battle. 
Um, I want them facing towards the... Yeah, cool. Once a submerged enemy has been detected, its last known position will be shown on the minimap. Yeah, there is a Pacific version Open of Open the game. command wheel and order the corvettes to attack the target. Fire at will! You can speed up time as the corvettes close the distance. Breaking formation! We can't actually see it. But we can hear it. Close on the target. Kind of. The Enemy thing is. Oh, the thing is all depth charges. The uh, Corvette. Uh, the camera effect is just for the tutorial. Just in case anyone's wondering. Interesting if you wanted to do it that way, but um, I'm going to have you, the other Corvette, move that way. Breaking formation! You can head straight on at the target, because we all know submarines won't fire a torpedo at you like that. Reduce speed to spot the sub, as loud engines can affect submarine hunting. Ah. In the yellow speed band, sonar has a penalty to detecting submerged targets. Faster classes of ship have a red speed band. At these speeds, engines are so noisy that sonar is not usable. Okay. Zoom all the way in on the mini-map. Select the ship's depth charges. Their firing arc shall be sh This submarine is trying to evade you by submerging. Set the depth charge to depth 2. Wait, how do I do that? Turbine's probably better. How do we do that? <laughs> Use depth charges. There's 15 of them. I think I messed something up there, or I just missed it. I only got War on the Sea and Battleships Command of the Sea. War on the Sea. But that's the the one in the Pacific as well, isn't it? I'm after messing this up. Oops. Like the little animation. But how do I set depth to? You? Luckily, controls. Uh, torpedo spread. Weapon mode. Good weapon mode. Oh, I don't know. Reset gun alignment. Hold AWS fire. Oh, hey, how about if I click the number? Continue attacking with both corvettes until the submarine is destroyed. What do we think about that? If I use the number? Um, so, right, I'm going to... Remove control that I don't need to control him, I need him Fire of Will Attack. You're gonna move that way. What 
Did you just fire all of them? Come on, let me zoom in on this and get the uh Oh, ammo depleted. Right, yeah, yeah, that would be a thing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Move this guy over here. Last known position is like right beneath us. That sounded like a hit. Hey, Hoffman. Sorry. Trying to figure out the basics of this game. We're currently doing some anti-submarine warfare. Sorry, we're trying to do some anti-submarine warfare. Engineering bridge AA. Set the gun alignments, turbines, propellers, rudders. That's all like um. Oh wait, he has a ton of ammo. What? Yeah, he's after firing a bunch of them. Again, we're gonna move over it. Presume he'll fire again. There we go. Okay, got it. Go. You have completed basic anti submersible warfare training. Return to the campaign map when ready. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on there for a second. Okay, cool. Enemy fleet spotted. Here's yourself with further campaign mechanics. Sure. We'll Here is the that. information critical to the war effort, showing your current supplies, food, and recruits. Yeah, so this is the thing. It's a real-time campaign. Recruits are used to crew newly constructed ships and aircraft. Mm-hmm. This counter shows when more resources will be produced. Oh wow, we're not producing any food or supplies. Click on the objectives icon. You will see the current objectives that need to be completed. Once the first phase of objectives are completed, new objectives will appear. Okay. Clicking on an objective will trigger a tutorial if appropriate. Click on the Build a Factory objective. On the Industry panel, click on the Factory Build button. Alright, do I want to build it in Belfast? Oh, good, okay. Click a slot to start constructing a factory. It's like we're going to have power and everything, oh god. Mission a ship, build a farm. Okay, we can build a farm at some stage. Except we can't because we're out of resources, maybe. Build a farm up here. Supplies 30. Uh, do I need to. I only need to do the. Tutorial. On the industry panel, click on the farm build button. Place the farm in a location of your choice. Okay, cool. Right, commission a ship. Click on the shipyard's icon. Select a shipyard. Okay. Open the shipyard window. 
Oh. Click on a ship class to see its details, including its cost and time to commission. If you can afford the ship, click commission. Oh, and we can build the French stuff too. Interesting, we'll build the hood. Watch it explode then later. You can queue up multiple ships to be commissioned. Higher level shipyards are able to commission multiple ships simultaneously. Close the shipyard panel. Okay. Build an intelligence station. A laboratory. The research as well, right. Intelligence station. On the industry panel, click on the intelligence station build button. Place the intelligence station in a location of your choice. We'll cap with that in Scotland. Okay. Not going to go into any more detail about what the intelligence station does. On the industry panel, click on the laboratory build button. Place the laboratory in a location of your choice. Research is new technology, one research points per day. Probably should have read that. Familiarize yourself with the power grid. You don't have enough power to run all the structures in this region. So I should build a power station. On the industry panel, click on a power, click a slot to start constructing an additional power station. Okay, merge two fleets, gotcha. Good Select for Force 2. Uh, force 2. Order Force 2 to merge with Force 1. Simple enough. Allow the two fleets to merge. <laughs> That's exactly it, yeah. The need to know basis. I think we're we're literally waiting for that to move over. Okay. Oh Duffer. What's the crack? How's it going? Again, like this is real time. So what gonna pique my interest in it? When it gets going, it'll be uh, it's gonna be a thing. Click the combined fleet rename button. Choose a name for this fleet. <laughs> Just looking at dropping thirty dollars on this. Hmm, is it thirty? And what are we name in the fleet? British Limey Barrage has been placed under your command off the coast of Portsmouth. Okay. The future of this war now depends on you. It oh, is great. your responsibility to build up our naval strength, send forth fleets to defend the British Isles and lay down the foundations for an allied victory on the Western Front. Yeah, in this you also do naval landings, so you have to build your landing craft and do that after. Um, I've only done one test battle, like, um, um, 30, oh, 30 pounds, sorry, on Steam in Liverpool, gotcha. Uh, right. Manufacture supplies in preparation for our eventual push back into Europe. Mm-hmm. Grow food to feed our growing armed forces. Mm -hmm. Enlist crew and troops to fight for their country. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be getting 882 crew, but we're not getting any more uh, resources. Expand the Allied fleets. Construct enough aircraft to claim air superiority. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, okay, uh, British Force 3 has been put under our... Okay, we're just getting everything. Cool. Anti-submarine warfare patrols, we'll have them out and about. So you're up there, so you can uh, start a patrol probably down along here, actually. 
But I know anything from Willem's, or I was going to say from Willem's Haven, from Silent Hunter, we're going to need a patrol out here. We can do a patrol there. Uh, we have our other dude out here. All this stuff I'd hate, I just want to go on patrol. <laughs> Unfortunately, all this stuff is needed. But if patrols can work. Okay, we have no convoys coming from down here, so let's go up to there. And we'll do a patrol along here. Convoy coming in here. We have our barges here. Um. Power generated three. Power station is plus three, minus one, minus one. So I want another power station at Liverpool and then um, a farm. Wait, power two of three. Pop that down there. And then factory, we're going to throw a factory there. Do a bit of, uh, let's look at our airfields. Our only airfield is in Reykjavik. Wait, <laughs> what? What year is it? It's 1940 and our only airfield is in Reykjavik. What are you doing? All right, we have to build a couple of airfields, I guess. <laughs> um, so we need to get like a radar. Yeah, structure is not research, so we need intelligence centers. Go on a spending spree. We'll throw one up uh, in West Scotland. Get all them building. Uh, they could really do with some background music on the map. That's weird for GB. Intelligence or the airfields? Uh, yeah. Speed up. Right, our submarine patrols now. I guess we should get the actual fleet uh, doing stuff. The air bases. Captain. Do a little patrol there. You guys are, yeah, going to take ages to move up. Oh, they sent out spotter planes. There was a lot of bomber raids from southern Great Britain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. look, at, that's what I'm saying. June 1940. Um, they, they would have been like, they've, they're out of Dunkirk, so they would have had a... Uh, All that fun times already happened. All right, I guess we just uh, motor on here. Where are the spotters going? Are they just automatically going out? That's good. Good. There's German spotters. So what other patrol have we got? We've got uh, Force Three over here, which consists of. Oh, the Birmingham and the Manchester, like cruisers. Um, submersible training, sure. Before you enter combat, here is what you need to know about submarine operations. Dive to periscope depth. Stop! 
Allow the submersible to submerge. Select the torpedoes. Lock onto the enemy ship. Oh, that's weird. Okay. A projected position of the targeted ship can now be seen on the minimap as a guide for aiming the selected torpedoes. Reduce the firing arc and the number of torpedoes used to one as seen on the ship card. Click to launch torpedoes. Oh, hold on a second. So do I want to line it up like there? I don't know how fast the torpedo is relative to the ship. Torpedoes have an arming range. If a torpedo hits a target before it is armed, it will not explode. Right click to leave the periscope. So I double click there. The air base is available, maybe those available to the fleet air arm. Oh, that's, you know, that's a good point and exclude the RAF. That is a good point. You have completed basic submersible warfare training. Click continue when you are ready. Want to wait and see? They're not going to hit. Well. Never mind. She's looking good. On the other hand, you see him responsible for turnips as well, so who knows? <laughs> Bonk. Now that she stopped, I'm sinking already, just to be sure and then the other end. I don't know if you heard that what sounded like wooden sound effect. You're going to hear that a bit. Okay. So we did that thing. We have encountered the enemy. The Green Wallace has encountered enemy aircraft. Ah, okay. All rest, excuse me. Battleship and heavy cruiser in the Lamy barges. But oh, the Queen Elizabeth the Exeter and then the Walrus is here as well. So we lost our spotter aircraft against whatever that was. Aircraft lost. Supermarine Walrus flight has been shot down over Calais. Oh, so the Walrus is a type of aircraft. What are you fighting for if not the turnips? Eels? Eel pie. Right on. What is this? Okay, so that's actually telling us that we had an encounter there. Cool. I did see spotters over here, so I was thinking of bringing over the Force 3. We don't have much else at the moment. Although, at the same time, I do want to like get extra food and everything going down now. And did I build a lab? That's cute. Not fun. Bunch of stuff cute there. Now we can build in Belfast. I'm going to build more farms. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. Sorry. All right, we'll uh, speed on time here something done and um, oh no that's not pause yields you why no it's a British thing isn't it our spotter is flying over like no um yeah breast and uh Orient. 
I did see spotters come out here. We have encountered the enemy. I was going to enter combat, right? Why not? Visibility moderate. The weather is poor and the seas are rough. Just so we can actually enter combat. Okay, yeah, go. When it's not in a feckin... So I didn't set up the uh, formation or anything, so that's what it actually looks like. And yes, visibility is terrible. We've got two spotter aircraft up. So I'm going to tell you to uh, loiter out there. And you to loiter out there. And then we can pop out here. We do have control over the plane as well. We can steer, change altitude, change the payload. There's the spotter there. So heavy cruiser, I'm gonna get you to move there. The bomber, or the battleship, excuse me, is gonna move out to here. The walrus, it looks like it's from Wacky Races or something. Yeah, it has no guns. Not British, so I don't know. Same. <laughs> but uh, you can loiter here then. Basically, we're going to have to wait for these guys to get into range to take out the spotter. Which is why we're sending the cruiser on ahead. Fire up will! Fire up will! There were people giving out on the on the um, discussions page that they have uh, German turrets, which is, yeah, definitely, they should not have those turrets. That's a little whoopsie. Are you coming in low? Max. I know, it's like, if you want the good turrets... They look like Japanese turrets. But I could be wrong, I don't know much about British turrets. Ooh, turn what? Hold on. While we're doing this, I'm gonna install something else again. If I keep reinstalling it and uninstalling it. We're gonna have a bit of a... Three and a half gigabytes? That's fine. Stolen the good turrets and all right, we get into range here. Um, we do have another spotter that I can launch. Cruiser. Where's our anti-aircraft stuff? Getting into range here in a second. I hope. Do you have any ant here? You do. Well, the battleship is heading over that way, so let's uh, rotate the cruiser over Fire there. Fire up, Will! Rotate the cruiser over there and actually do the right thing. Very tense. Uh, why am I ring installing something in the background? Uh, you'll see when I fire it up in a bit. We can auto resolve. Like again, this is just a spotter plane, so it's just probably just going to fly across the map, right? Just wanted to shoot at something, but it's gone. Wait, it landed? Oh, it ran out of fuel. 
Have I played Ultimate Admiral? Well, that's a bit of a coinky dink there, isn't it? I may have been reinstalling Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Can you fire at that, please? Get the battleship to fire at the, the plane in the water. Excuse me, I said. Get the battleship. Fire the plane in the water. Yeah, I like a uh, blah, blah, blah. Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts here. We're just going to auto resolve this because it's going to take ages. Get into a real fight. Not damaged, of course not. Okay. Let's just continue on here. But it is basically going in real time, so these, these are going to take a while to build. I'm sure they're going to add like ambient music or something in the background here. You would hope. Enemy fleet spotted. In Seoul Bank? Where's that? Oh. Two submersibles against our ASW patrol. We're about to die, guys. We are about to die. Ammunition is low. Yes, it is. Uh, all right, let's uh, get in there. Do I know the Black Pants Legion? I have heard of it, yes. That text. The submersibles are outrunning the anti-submersible patrol. Hmm. Only I had aircraft. Oh, is he doing an Ultimate Admiral um, playthrough? Nice. They launched 12 fighters against our spotter plane. Oof. The Lemmy Barges is doing that. Let's get Force 3. Uh... Can we catch them? Yes. Wait, why, why isn't that giving us um, a battle thing? Oh, last on position, we've lost, we've lost them. Okay, cool. He did Italy, and now he's doing Austria-Hungary. Nice. Yeah, I like. Um, have they kind of has the has the campaign been kind of updated a bit yet? Get you on that, and then I guess we send you back to port to resupply. Got landing craft, we got aircraft. Queen Elizabeth's spotters and the Exeter spotters. Okay. And then we only have Queen Elizabeth, the Exeter, Birmingham, and Manchester. All right, ASW Patrol 1 is actually a solid little patrol there of a bunch of destroyers. That's good. The spotter heading back in there. All right. We have encountered the enemy. The Marine Walrus has encountered enemy aircraft over mm -hmm. Dover. Unfortunate. Aircraft lost. 
unfortunate eight fighters. Uh, how are we doing there? Six days left on everything, really. Not much we can do. Somerset, what can we do? We put a factory in Somerset. The narrator is weird. Oh, it's just um, text to speech voice. You would imagine it's placeholder, but you never know. I kind of want to bring Force 3 down to merge with uh, our battleship so that it has a bit of cover. We have encountered the enemy. Being attacked by one spotter. Let's auto resolve that. Nobody's been damaged. Good, good, good. And um, what I will do is I'll do up a custom battle here. Uh, yeah, I would imagine it's a text to speech or like an AI voice. Enemy fleet spotted. Six destroyers and a heavy cruiser against our six destroyers. Well, never mind. We're going to get a battle here. Because why not? Prioritize the heavy cruisers, prioritize the destroyers. Our five destroyers against their six destroyers. I think we prioritize their destroyers, right? For now. We have encountered the enemy. Yeah, we have. We're just going to dump torpedoes. I mean, the game in which you build capitalism on other planets, at those places, but when the real voice acted lines came in, the community wanted the horrible placeholders to stay. <laughs> Democracy for you. Visibility moderate. We're going to make two squads of... Stuff. This is going to be a disaster, so let's go. Uh, squad one, you're going to move that way. Two, you're going to move that away. The, yeah. Do and um, do I have spotters on these guys? No, their heavy cruiser will have a spotter. Yeah, this is gonna be not fun. See how poor the visibility is, we can't even see our own guy. A leopard, is that what that's called? Oh man, stormy seas, everything. This is gonna be great. Spotted one. That would be hilarious if it didn't have guns. <laughs> well, we spotted it, but we don't know what it is. What has guns? Fire up, will. Fire up, will. Uh, yes, you guys are going that way. I've heard that the uh, accuracy is a bit high. Your spotters are just blind, they don't exist. Problem, they don't exist. See where the shots come in. Oh. We're going to need to deal with that. Breaking formation.
Good thing is we have hopefully got a Great weather for podcasts. <laughs> yes, it didn't listen to a podcast. Yeah, they have a heavy cruiser which can launch um, spotter planes. There's a catapult right there. Is that a car through? I think he has two forward turrets by the looks of it. Uh, when he fired, could be wrong. I think he just launched another spotter plane. We took a hit. You see our health has gone down there. Um, would you mind? Tell me you've got a... You're going at 31 knots, but we're, we're just miles away. Although, like, if we can hit the heavy cruiser with a couple of torpedoes, that'd be sweet. He's heading back because he's going to be out of fuel. Abandoned ship! Whoa, 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 Abandoned whoa. ship! Okay then. That started out well. Are we even going to be able to get close to these guys? Currently moving at eleven knots. Breaking formation. Would you please speed the back up? Breaking formation. Go go go. General quarters. General quarters. All right, we're spotted at Z four. I mean, I have fewer boats. Yeah. But I mean, one of their boats was shooting at me. This fecker. I've heard the accuracy is kind of insane, but uh, I wasn't expecting that. Fire at will! Fire at will! Don't fire at will. Fire at that guy. I uh, select all guns were way out of range. Torpedoes were way out of range. We would think the storm would benefit destroyers because they could get in and uh, torpedo the big ship. And that is my goal, is just torpedoes. Splendidly. What's my top range? Terrible. 
Um, if I go and select all torpedoes, you can see it here. We're just going to do a spread in them. With them having spotters in the air and stuff, yeah. Um, the fact that they shot out the destroyer over here was a bit of a pain in the hole. But uh, we are kind of... Okay, not that ship. This ship. Jesus. <laughs> he destroyed one of our torpedo launchers. Yeah, it's, it's pretty terrible. And they just hit the other guy. Watch to create smoke. Breaking formation. <laughs> I don't know about that. This is this is all the heavy cruiser. There we can see his guns. Yeah, he's a. Uh... Oh, it's a Graf Spey. Or Admiral Shear. Not a heavy cruiser. A pocket battleship. But I do think the accuracy is a bit uh, high. being picked off like nothing else there. In a storm that even the spotter plane should not make it that easy. Yeah, exactly. I, I've seen that mentioned as well. That's that's um thing. But like if they can work on it, they can work on it and that's great. turning as well. We're not going to survive very long. I'm wondering if we get the torpedoes away. Will they actually... Um, come within range. That's right, we want to use proximity cues, don't we? Oh, I don't have any proximity cues, okay. Now I get to reload my launchers. Took a hit. Another hit, launch him.
So the Admiral Shear is just off the coast of uh, Britain there. <laughs> The wood sounds are awesome. Hmm. Um, that's a thing. I don't like you having big guns near me. Problem is, I have no um, air force to uh, deal with that. I could bring those cruisers around. No one did it once Enemy lately. fleet spotted. Three destroyers and a battleship. Battleship versus battleship. Okay, we'll do this. Yeah, obviously I don't know what I'm doing. You know, let's We have encountered the enemy. Let's make sure everyone's aware of that. Oh god. Visibility good. We have smooth seas. Battleship in the center. Three destroyers. I'm going to move my spotter over there. And he can light her over there. Um, they can be in a group. They're going to be in column formation. Line them up like that because the battleship should have range on the other battleship. Check it, fire that one. Don't leave the formation. Okay, select all guns. Oh, we're outside of range. Okay. Return to formation. What battleship is it? The Scharnhorst. Sexy ship. I think the Queen Elizabeth should be able to deal with the Sharon. Fire at will. Everyone is fire at will. The walrus is low on fuel. Um, we'll have the group move that way. Not where I told it to move. Interesting. There we go. I was off the map. My turrets. Can I get you to uh, return home? I think I need to get my spotter back eventually. Or I could get him to land. Returning home. Or that. Wait, was he playing it that way? If if he's my spotter. going on here? <laughs> Why have you stopped? Breaking formation. Oh, because the Queen Elizabeth is taking the lead. Never mind. Yeah, okay, she's taking the lead of the squadron. That's fine. With the, uh, the Bismarck guns on the cruiser. We are going to lose sight of them, though. Which is a bit of an issue. Okay, perfect. Oh, and it did fly back here. Okay, so the map was uh, slightly wrong. So, can we launch that again, then? I may have left clicked. We 
can launch that again. Excellent. So you're gonna loiter over there. That will get us eyes on Donkey. Donkey. That'll get us eyes on the um the enemy. And actually have fuel. There General there. quarters! General quarters! Just, just about to get in range. Let's see what our accuracy is like. Are you automatically going to attack? You should. You are on fire at will. It's because I was in control of them. Okay. Assume you're firing at this one, but we'll see when the shots land. Good, good refire rate, actually. Oh yeah, look at that. The accuracy is a bit high. And we can get you lighter over there. And then we can get the squadron to move that way. We've, we've got the range on them. If we could spot the Sharonars, we'll, we'll definitely focus them. The cruiser won't need to do anything unless the destroyers want to get close, and I don't think they do. Can I have you continue that way, but focus on the Sharonhorst? Wonder is she making a run for it, or are the destroyers covering? It looks like you've moved your guns over to fire on it. Again, we'll see once the, the shots land. And then uh, you can see the vision radius there. We've sunk one of the destroyers. Nice. No, you're focusing on a destroyer. Oh yeah, range. <laughs> range is a thing. That's right. Well, look, if we can pound the destroyers, then why not? We hit two. Oh. Well, we know which one we're shooting at. And then in that case, rejoin formation and we'll get the formation to uh, try to close in on the Scharenhorst. And then if I select all guns, that's our range.
Well, she got those longer barrels, but holy crap. Can you? Really? Why are you going 11 knots? Sitting there going 11 knots. Get moving. I gave the walrus a move of an order. Second Sharon horse is hitting us, and we can't do anything about it. Two destroyers dead. How you doing? Thank you for the uh, sub, dude. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So this guy's spotting us. The rear turrets are not in the fight at the moment. Let's uh, rotate a little bit further back out that way. Get them firing again. We've lost the secondary. I don't need to spend points repairing that. I'm going to save points just in case. I'm piercing 25, damage 24. I'm piercing minus 17. Jesus. It was only the three destroyers, wasn't it? Grapnel damage. Jesus, they can see us from so far away, that's crazy. Gotta sink this. I'm sure he will in a couple of shots because of the accuracy. That will blind the Sharnhorst, hopefully, but we're taking a beating. Luckily, we haven't um, had any critical hits. We're just getting pounded. All those little hits, just chunking away at our health. Alright, there we go. Spotting us though. Damn, we're going to lose the Queen Elizabeth. Nothing can be done. Actually, nothing can be done. I oh, don't have any repair points. Brilliant. That hurts. It hurts that we can't fight back. Damn, Sharnhorst, Sharnhorst has the range on us. It's kind of crazy. Heavy Cruiser, you have 14 kilometer range. And then the Queen Elizabeth has 16. They've lost sight of us. Which is good, I suppose. You get them to go bomb. Would be stupid because then we'll lose our uh, sight on them. 
I think while that was still sinking, um, they still had sight on us, but now they've lost sight on us. But I don't think the Queen Elizabeth can catch up at 13 knots. I can imagine that the Sharon horse is going a good bit faster than that. Sending in the Exeter would be death. Exeter is not going to do a thing to the Sharon horse, even with the German guns. <laughs> Oh, is it going? It's going to the nearest ship that can take it, and the Exeter can bring it on board. Is that what's happened? Uh, what's your torpedo range? Never mind. All right, we're gonna have to turn you down that way. We can do. The walrus is getting back here. We'll lose sight on the Sharon horse, but nothing we can do. Wait, where is it going? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's going back to the Queen Elizabeth. He's a bit battered. Home. Out of fuel. Oh well. We'll leave, we'll leave it there. What's the worst that could happen? I have the Exeter spot, but again. You can spot the Sharon Horse, then the Sharon Horse can spot you. Can they just leave the map then at the edge? That's uh, another thing I hadn't considered. Queen Elizabeth is up to level 3 as well. You're going 34 knots. Queen Elizabeth is going 13 knots. It does not have a huge range. We could shoot the Exeter. I presume if they leave the edge of the map, then um, it'll just automatically end the combat. But at this rate, they should have been at the edge of the map. Unless that's not classed as the edge of the map. This is going to get very messy very quick. I think she doubled back. Your guns will be pointing in the right direction if I'm right. But I also think that she's a lot faster than us, so it's probably up here by right now. Double check that we haven't. Uh, Mister in the corner. All 
All right, I presume she's gone. Okay, we can come out of this with a win, I guess, because we sunk three destroyers. Bit of retribution. I can't retreat, though. Let's do a quick uh, scan up here then. Who killed more people? Um, well, I don't, we don't know how many crew died. On the ship. Catapults were damaged. A couple of gun turrets were damaged. We did sink three ships. Oh, there it is. Outside range. And the exter has been immediately eviscerated. You can get a shot off. Get one shot off. Guns. There's the extra gun. Just like that. Damn you, you sexy beast. Contact. We know where she's going now. Harsh? Yeah. Like, like that, uh, that accuracy, though. We just pop smoke. Hmm. Alright, the 11 inches against the 15 inches. He stays on that course, we'll see her again pretty soon and be in range. The main thing we can actually shoot. Try to returns. And we're pretty much dead again. <laughs> and you fire off a second shot. We definitely hit her. Like, how much damage are we actually doing? And she's gonna just wreck us now. Abandoned ship! Yeah. Abandoned ship! Be nasty. Pretty damn nasty. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, lightly damaged. That's lightly damaged. We got like a couple of good hits in on her. But uh, yeah. Enemy fleet spotted. I bet they are. Interesting. But anyway, yeah, this is victory is the Atlantic. Uh, Thank the devs for giving me an access to it. I'm gonna to have to learn more about it because I'm obviously just rushing into it there. 
that range difference though. So I guess we could have picked off the destroyers and stayed a bit further away from the Scharnhorst. Ah, uh, there's German spotters over Waterford. That's always interesting. On my beer. Interesting. Um, go back to main menu here. Yeah, there's going to be a German campaign as well coming down the line. Uh, plenty of ships in it. There's submarine warfare, aircraft carriers. Which you can manage completely as well. We pop in the Iowa. Wasp. Visibility good. We have smooth seas. Because why not, right? Yeah, you can see the carrier here. Then we have dive bombers, fighters. Torpedo bombers, and we can manage that stuff in the middle of the fight as well. The wings are a little bit, well, the, whole, the proportions of the fighters are a little bit odd. Let's say that. So, yeah, I can uh, give orders here. I can move that squadron over there. I haven't actually watched them do anything yet. It's, it's turning into the wind. As a carrier would. That's awesome. Like that little feature. That's the wind direction there. Turning into the wind to give the fighters a shorter takeoff requirement. I like it. We can just like flood the air with all of our fighters for this, right? And again, I could select all fighter flights. Go lighter there. While he's doing that, we have the Iowa. Fire of will! Fire of will! Carrier is going to get these launched soon. If we can get the fighters over there, that'd be great. Take out the spotter planes. General quarters! General quarters! Well, here we go. Oh yeah, I was in range. Starland. There it is. Oh god, all of the uh, fighters are taking off. <laughs> the models are a bit wonky, but okay.
So let's send in the uh, torpedo bombers. Fighters are coming in to deal with all of that. Breaking formation. Breaking formation. You can see they all have fuel. Breaking and formation. Wait, what are these? These are fighters. Why aren't you? Intercept, goddammit. Fighting. Boy, do you need to fire your guns for your dog fighting? There it is. Ireland has taken a beating, but uh, so has the Illinois. I suggest switching target to the uh, Bismarck. Fighters are incoming. Sorry, bombers are incoming. Breaking formation! Hit the Bismarck. Three squads of torpedo bombers incoming. Oh, why are they dropping from way out? Nice, so torpedoes are in the water. do drop them from a distance, don't they? Seems way too far, yeah, it does. Uh, torpedo bombers are coming in. Do we have dive bombers? I thought I had dive bombers coming in. Yeah, they're there. You can manually do this as well if you want to. Starland is a bit busted. How's the Illinois looking? Yeah, not too bad. The heck? She's in a bit of bother. Instant turn? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the aircraft could do with a bit of work. Was that a dud or did it hit the armor? Pick up all bomber flights. We just have gaggles of fighters doing nothing, so, um, we want to go bomb that. <laughs> Another turret gun. Dodge the last torpedo. Let's see if we could say you to go that way. They're still in range, so you're still firing. That's good. Schmack is getting schmacked. I think all of our turrets are down. Just by the looks of it. Then we have another wave of fighters incoming. A big wave of fighters incoming. Magazine explosion on the Bismarck. Turns out we've lost contact with her. The other ship is uh, sunk. Pretty damn quickly too. Never mind, they're both sunk. But yeah, the victory at the Atlantic. Let's see what else they do with it. On both camp, I, I need to learn the mechanics a bit more. 